Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today, I'll be showing you another video tutorial on how you could improve your Google Meet video quality. So, if you are just new in this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. So go ahead and open up first your web browser and go to meet.google.com so i have here a google meet already loaded up on my web browser so what you have to do is always go to the settings right here that says more options click on the settings be sure that the send resolution set to the maximum um, resolution which is the high definition and for the receive resolution make sure to set that one also to the highest resolution although take note that if you are going to increase also this quality settings you might be needing a uh, stable and fast internet connection so uh, once then hit the done button once you've configured that one you can also ask your um, meet members or the people that are connected on your google meet to also change that settings on their end so the next step is go ahead and minimize this window and then open up the start menu and look for device manager open up the device manager control panel app and then go to the cameras so right click your webcam or camera that is uh, currently installed on your computer or laptop just simply right click on it and click the update driver then click the search automatically for updated driver software we will go ahead and uh, look for the Windows Update Catalog to find the most updated driver for that particular webcam. It is very important to have your webcam drivers updated to ensure that you are using most of the capabilities of your webcam. So if you are able to see this one, the best drivers for your device are already installed. You can go ahead and close this one. Next is we're going to optimize and uh, configure our webcam settings. So go ahead and go to my website i'll be posting this link again on the description scroll down until you see the um, third step right here that says the configure webcam settings go ahead and click this download obs studio right here it will take you to the download page of the obs um, open broadcaster software and go ahead and download the installer for your system minimize this window and then go ahead and open up the OBS Studio once you are able to install it on your system. Once you have already the um, OBS Studio open up, you'll be able to see here this window. We're just going to um, do some settings right here. It's very simple. Just click this add button right here. Click on the video capture device and then just name it whatever you want. Hit the OK button and then you'll be able to see here under the device you can choose your webcam. So I have here the USB 2.0 HD UVC webcam. So go ahead and click the configure video. So if you cannot configure the video or it doesn't show you anything just simply hit the deactivate button and then go ahead and activate it again and then click on the configure video. Once that you're able to load up this properties window over here, you'll be shown with the brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, sharpness, gamma, and white balance options right here. We're not going to tamper with the settings right as of the moment. You can go ahead and go to the camera control. And then you'll be shown here this low light compensation. You can go ahead and uncheck that one. And Immediately, you could see and notice a difference between the webcam. It shows more frame rate when using the webcam itself. So go ahead and go back to the video program tab. And then you could go ahead and start playing around with the settings right here. You could turn up the sharpness of your webcam to improve the video quality. So if you lower it down, it will show you a more blurry image. So turning it up could uh, actually help you fake a um, more clear video and then you could also play around with these other settings right here such as the brightness so once you are happy with your configuration you could go ahead and hit the apply button and okay after changing all those settings that we have just configured uh, a while ago go ahead and change the resolution or fps type right here change the one to custom and for the um, resolution click on this uh, 
button right here and be sure that you have the highest resolution selected and for the FPS make sure to always um, select the highest frame rates per second and now uh, immediately you'll be able to see and notice the difference between the um, your previous camera so um, once done go ahead and click on the video format you could choose the mjpeg which will again further improve your um, frame rates per second on your camera and uh, you can leave uh, these other settings right here by default and just simply hit the ok button and once done you could go ahead and close this window or the obs app and it will automatically apply those settings to your webcam so another um, solution that you can do to improve the video quality on google meet is to pause the windows update so go ahead and go to the start menu and click on settings click on the update and security so windows could uh, sometimes be causing the slowdown on your network by having windows update downloading constant files while you are on a google meet which would consume your bandwidth and speed which again affects the quality of uh, video and uh, audio that you are receiving and sending to your Google Meet sessions. So go ahead and uh, you'll be able to see here that you could pause the updates for um, 7 days. So if I'm going to resume this one right here, you could see an option right here to pause the updates for 7 days. You could click that one and it will automatically pause the Windows updates for 7 days or you could also change the active hours on your computer as you can see here the current active hours is 8 a.m to 5 p.m so what does this mean is uh, that within this time period uh, windows will not update the um, windows or uh, it will not download any updates on your system so uh, you could change this one depending on your preference and once done you could uh, just close this window and it will automatically update those settings for you Another thing is to use a um, faster DNS um, server. So go ahead and go to your network icon right here. Right click your network icon or Wi-Fi icon and click on the open network and internet settings. Click on the change adapter options. Right click your network adapter or your Wi-Fi adapter. Click on the properties. Click on the internet protocol version 4 and click on properties. By default, you'll be able to see here the obtain DNS server addresses automatically. Just select use the following DNS server addresses. And type in here the preferred DNS server 1.1.1.1. For the alternate DNS server, you could type in here 8.8.4.4. The first DNS server is a Cloudflare DNS server and the second one is a Google DNS server. So you could go ahead and click the OK button and close this window over here. Then go to the start menu and look for command prompt. Right click the command prompt and make sure to run it as administrator. On the command prompt, type in here IP config space forward slash flush DNS. So by executing this IP config uh, forward slash flush DNS command, it will force Windows to clear all those um, stored, stored information and be able to use the previous changes that we have just applied a while ago. So we can go ahead and close this window and close your web browser first and see if that would improve your um, video quality on google meet so thanks for watching if this video was helpful don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below and also like this video for more helpful tips till then see you again in my next videos